We're going to stay on that Korean story. North Korea calling the South Korean drills a, quote, childish act to show off. But so far, no retaliation from the North, even though it had warned it might do that. Juliana Goldman is in D.C. with the latest. Juliana. Well, good morning, Lizzie. The key word there is no retaliation just yet. We have not seen an immediate reaction from North Korea, but there is still a great risk that this could escalate. You know, the State Department has defended Seoul's right to hold the drills. After yesterday's emergency United Nations Security Council meeting, Susan Rice, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., said, quote, that the exercises are fully consistent with South Korea's right to self-defense. But she also did go on to say that it is safe to predict that the gaps that remain Main are likely unlikely to be bridged. And what she's talking about is that UN Security Council meeting yesterday where after more than eight hours, the Security Council members failed to reach an agreement on a statement. Uh, members, they just could not agree, reach agreement with China, who did not want to condemn North Korea's shelling last month. And they issue and uh, China issued a statement actually urging all the parties to er exercise maximum restraint. Now, this also comes as New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, he's the former U.S. ambassador to North Korea. He is in North Korea on an unofficial visit. It's been approved by the State Department, but of course it is unofficial. He has continued with those meetings today uh, over there, and it's meeting with officials to propose ways to increase communication between the international community and the North. Now, there are reports that there could be be some progress. There are reports that North Korea has offered him some concessions toward reopening six-party talks, including the possibility of even resumption uh, visits by U.N. inspectors.